Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today I thought I would approach the topic of manifestation, but trying to force someone to be in your life. I had a viewer reach out to me and we were talking about some stuff and I just thought, you know, this is such a great topic to cover in a video. So what happens, you, know, you hear me talk all the time about not going against someone's free will. I won't do it in a reading. The angels won't do it when they're trying to help somebody. They won't go against your free will. They're not going to tell you what to do. So what happens when we want somebody back or we love somebody, but they're not loving us back? There are a lot of people out there and all love and respect. Please, as I say this, I am not in any way, shape or form saying you're terrible. You're shut up by doing that. I want to offer the guidance that I get around that you consider what is right for you. Okay. So there are a lot of people out there who will offer spells. Again, no, no offense against anybody who does spell work. You, you are where you are. I am where I am. We just do our thing, right? <laughs> Whatever. But there are people that offer spells. They offer meditations for it. Um, They'll, they'll, you know, basically give, I don't know, I'm thinking of some examples, again, I want to be very careful here, of people that are like, nine ways to get him back. Let me blow the lid off of this. There is this thing called a YouTube world. There is this thing called digital marketing. When you are putting up a video, if you want to survive on YouTube, you have to have clickbait type things going on. So nine ways that triggers something in you, you like a list, don't you? You like things listed out, you like bullet points. So you're gonna be drawn in by that. Nine ways to get him back, clicked on your pain body because there's somebody that you're in love with who you're not with and that hurts, right? <laughs> and then what happens? We are psychologically triggered, we go in, we click on it, and maybe there's nine ways, nine made up ways to get somebody back, all right? So here's the deal, when we decide that this is what I want, this is what's good for me, and you're trying to manifest from the intellect and you're not connected into the heart space and you're manipulating energy and you're not honoring someone else's free will, you can go through all those steps. You can go through all those manif manifestation techniques or um, the spell or you know however you wanna see that, whatever you're doing, you can go through that and you know what? It might work for now there will always be a price to pay, always. If you manifest from the heart and you manifest say, you know, I want money, but I want it in the highest good of everyone involved and I don't want it to harm anybody else. I just want my part of the abundance. Thank you universe and you're feeling it in your body. You're, you're emanating from the heart space and maybe you want that money so that you can be okay in this money-based world, but also so that you can be generous with others without being taken advantage of, right? That is where the money will come and it will stay. If you want to manifest love, don't think about that one particular person, okay? There might be a, a reason why that person's not in your world and we could go on and on and on. For every person, it would be different. But if you want to manifest love and you're coming, hi doggies, <laughs> coming from that heart space and you're leaving it up to the universe and saying, show me what love is. You might actually feel a presence come to you. You may not be able to see what they look like, which is counter to how most people have told you that you need to manifest. But guess what? It always gets messed up when you're coming from the intellect. When you're coming from the heart space, it may not have all the details. You know all the details of how you want to experience it or universe show me something better. Show me what I could really realize by being in love with somebody. Show me what I can really realize by connecting with another human being. That's manifesting from the heart. And then you would have somebody in, in the right time. It's the other thing. We humans, we get so impatient. I want it now, 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 because I don't feel good in myself and I need someone to come in and make me feel whole. I hear it all the time, okay? If we're patient with the universe and we let the universe show us or we have to play out whatever lessons we need to play out, we need to stop being so selfish because there's another person that needs to play out their existence too. So if you're trying to manifest love and you want it right now, the ideal love partner may still need to work on some of their stuff before you can come together. 
But when we're coming back over here and we're doing this from, you know, the mental body or from the energy, like the psychic energy, and we're going to draw somebody to us, the fallout. Let's talk about the fallout. You might find that you get the person there, but the same old problems happen again and again, amplified. Or you get that person in, maybe you never dated them before you get them in and you realize they're abusive. They're terrible to you, you know, what have you. Or you might find, because once, you, once you're coming from a density place to try to uh, manifest something, especially love, you're gonna draw in more density. You're defining yourself as being quite comfy cozy in density consciousness and so you will have more density consciousness experiences. So this is where we find people, uh, maybe they got the love, but another area of their life started to fall apart. Or maybe they got the love, but something else started. Now it's not as, it's not making them as happy as they thought. Let's put it that way. Um, you know, or some people say, now I'm having bad luck or all those things. It's not that you're being punished. It's not it's not like that. This is a matter of not understanding love. This isn't understanding love for yourself. It's not understanding love for another. It's not understanding the love frequency that has to play out so the two of you can come together. It's not understanding that form of energy. And when you play into that, when someone claims that they can, you know, make that love of your life happen, they're telling the truth. They have a way but it's through manipulation of energy. It's from a density place. It's not, <laughs> it, it's not gonna come without, as I said, some fallout, yes? So I hope that makes sense. Be careful when you're manifesting, guys. Be careful what you're asking for because you may get it. You've heard this before, right? If you want more videos or more information on this, leave your comments and your questions down below and I can make a follow-up video, all right? Sending you all so much love and take care.